My dear friends, as you know, the purpose of my channel is to record and upload only such videos which could help my viewers in leading a healthy, happy and successful life. Today, I'm touching a very important topic, which is related to our own health numbers or data or quantifying your health or your numbered path to wellness. This is a very important topic to enable us to lead a happy and healthy long life. However, let me clarify here that I am not a doctor or a dietitian or in any way associated with any medical or health related profession or organization. Whatever I have mentioned in this video is just general knowledge and for information only. Avoiding technical terms, I have tried to discuss some important health numbers. Please contact your family doctor for any medical advice. It is a very common thing that we remember or at least try to remember various numbers like birthdays, anniversaries, expiry dates of various documents, contact numbers, ages of loved ones, passwords, bank accounts, and many, many more. Unfortunately, I was really shocked to know that many persons interviewed by me didn't know anything about their own health numbers, which is the most important thing for everyone. This is the reason which prompted me to record this video clip. I will briefly discuss some numbers which should be remembered and monitored if you want to live a long life with perfect health. So let us start. Number one on my list is blood pressure. Blood pressure measurement consists of two values systolic top number and diastolic bottom number. Keeping track of your blood pressure helps monitor cardiovascular health. Everyone must be knowing that a high or low blood pressure levels are dangerous. The normal reading is 120 by 80 and it needs to be monitored. Number two is blood sugar levels. If blood sugar levels are too high, this can lead to serious health problems including heart, nerve, kidney and eye damage. So these numbers need to be watched. Blood sugar levels are measured through fasting glucose or SbA1c. And these numbers are essential for managing and preventing diabetes in evaluating overall glucose control. A fasting blood sugar level less than 100 mg or 5.6 mmol is normal from 100 to 125 or 5.6 to 6.9 is considered pre-diabetes and higher means you have diabetes. The target numbers for diabetics are 70 to 130 or 4 to 7 mmol before meals and less than 180 mg or 10 mmol one or two hours after a meal. HbA1c is an important test to ascertain the averages of blood sugar over a period which should be between 4 and 5.6 percent for people without diabetes, 5.7 to 6.4 means you have pre-diabetes and levels of 6.5% or higher means you are diabetic. Number three is cholesterol. Total cholesterol levels less than 200 mg or less than 5.18 mol are considered desirable for adults reading between 200 and 239 or 5.8 to 6.18 mmol is considered borderline high and a reading of 240 mg or above 6.18 is considered high. Now there are two tests in cholesterol which are very important. A LDL cholesterol that is called bad cholesterol. It should be less than 100 mg or 2.6 mmol. 
levels of 100 to 129 or 2.6 to 3.3 are acceptable for people with no health issues, but may be of more concern for those with heart disease or heart disease risk factors. A reading of 130 to 159 mg or 3.4 to 4.1 is borderline high and 160 to 189 or 4.1 to 4.9 is high. B is HDL, high density lipoprotein. This is called good cholesterol. It absorbs cholesterol and carries it back to the liver to flush it from body. High levels of HDL cholesterol can lower your risk for heart disease and stroke. The good levels are 60 mg or 0.9 mmol or above. Number four is liver function. The liver has many functions that are vital for our health. Some of the numbers for liver tests are bilirubin total less than 20, ALP 40 to 129, GGT 14 to 62, and ALT less than 50. Number five is resting heart rate. Resting heart rate refers to the number of times your heart beats per minute while at rest. It can serve as an indicator of cardiovascular fitness and overall health. Increasingly, experts spin an ideal resting heart rate at between 50 to 70 beats per minute but your doctor can best advise you your ideal heart rate, keeping in view your age and other health numbers. Number eight is body weight. You must watch your body weight to remain healthy. You can find many ideal weight calculators on web and you can take help from these uh, calculators. The worldwide Overweight population is over 2 billion or 39% of the adult global population. Obesity invites numerous ailments and reduce our lifespan. As per all the experts discussing longevity and anti-aging, the best part is that it is preventable and it is in your own hand. Number seven is BMI, body mass index. BMI is a calculation based on your height and weight, providing an indication of whether you are underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. It can help assess the risk of developing weight related health issues. The BMI calculators are also available on web. You have to feed your weight and height. It will automatically calculate your BMI. If your BMI is between 18.5 to 24.9, it falls within the normal or healthy weight range. Above that are bad for health. Number eight is waist circumference. For your best health, your waist should be less than 40 inches for men and less than 35 inches for women. Although it may vary depending on race or ethnicity, if it is larger than that, you may discuss with your doctor about what your next step should be. Waist circumference is a measure of abdominal fat and can be an indicator of obesity related health risks such as heart disease, diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Number nine on my list is sleep hours. As per newer, numerous researches, most adults need seven to nine hours of restful sleep. Older adults ages 65 and over need seven to eight hours of sleep each day. Tracking the duration and quality of your sleep can help identify patterns and potential sleep disorders. Ensuring adequate rest for overall health and well-being. Number 10 is exercise and daily activity. Get at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity a week or a combination of moderate and vigorous activities. 
the guidelines suggest that you spread out this exercise during the course of a week. Current guidelines suggest that most adults should aim for about 10,000 steps per day. People with specific goals such as weight loss or muscle strengthening may be benefit from increasing the intensity of walking. The benefits of walking appear to increase in line with physical activity. Number 11 is bone mineral density, BMD. A bone mineral density test measures how much calcium and other types of minerals are in an area of your bone to ascertain bone strength and density, providing insights into the risk of osteoporosis and predict risk for bone fractures. This is a very important test as we age. Number 12 is kidney functions. Kidneys are a critical part of our body and plays a vital role in cleaning blood by removing waste from the body through our urine, help our body to make red blood cells and regulate blood pressure. Blood tests, GFR is a way to measure how well the kidneys are working. Estimated GFR over 60 is normal and below needs immediate attention. The serum creatinine level helps to indicate how well the kidneys are filtering the blood and the normal range is 67 to 117. Albumin to creatinine ratio estimates the amount of protein found in our urine in a day and the normal range is below 2. Now the conclusion. This is not in any way a complete list of various vital health numbers which needs to be remembered and tracked for a healthy long life. A regular physical exams, skin checks, eye exams, immunizations and screening for sexually transmitted disease, vitamin D levels, CBC and many other numbers are also very important. Remember, it is always best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine which health numbers are most relevant for your specific situation and to establish appropriate target ranges for each measurements. My dear friends, that's all for today. I wish you all a very healthy and happy life. We will meet soon again with some other topic of interest. Please subscribe my channel and favor me with your views and comments on this video. Also, click the like button if you like the video. Thank you very much for watching.